is good, everyone. This is your host, Deanna Kempel with Label Free Podcast. Live your best life. You must live label free. As you can see, I am doing an in-person interview, which is one of my favorites. I get to sit here with my dynamic guest and have that human interaction, which is so important for, for us and, and just it's more dynamic that way. She has been in the corporate world for 17 years. She tr- transitioned into having her own business called C. Jane Sparkle, which where she designed jewelry. And now she has moved on to other things where she is a, um, a part of a really great wine company called Scout and Cellar, and she supports another company called that is Fair Trade. Please welcome Sarah Jane Abbott to the, to the show. Sarah Jane, can you please introduce yourself and tell the audience a little bit about your background? Absolutely. Oh my God, I'm so honored to be here. Thank you, Deanna, for your time. This is awesome. Um, wow, yeah, so the background, Ever since I was the littlest of littlest, I wanted to run my own business. Um, my first job was a paper app, believe it or not. Me too! Oh my god, I love it! <laughs> 11 years old, I made money to buy a Commodore 64 computer, and that's like the old, old Mac to think about it, and a TV. So it was pretty awesome. I felt really like driven early yeah, on. Like, that's cool. I want to do oh something, gosh. and I want to do it on my own terms. I did have to like take a little stint. You know, I went to... Um, College at Syracuse University. Fashion design was my major. I absolutely loved it. I studied As in London. As you can London. see, very fashionable. Love it. Yes. Love fashion. Um, studied in London. Met my husband. I'm very, very lucky to have a relationship. Been married 27 years. And after that, I was like, okay, I guess I got to go to the corporate world now, right? And design. I mean, go to New York City and be like a schlep or like figure out what you're going to do. And I wanted to stay in the Midwest. Chicago is so amazing. It's such, such a good vibe. You know, um, so I had to find somewhere that was going to be in Chicago, and I started designing at Claire's Accessories. Oh, wow. Get out of here. Seriously. Seven <laughs> years designing with, like, 13 different buyers, but I got to travel the world. Yeah. I got to really get involved in product development early on, before product development was a thing. It's, right. it's now a major in universities, but this is way before. So I was designing, I was creating, and then I had a baby. She's now 22, but I had a baby, and prior to that, it really took some time to say, like, you know, I think I want to do like work from home a few days mm-hmm. and they weren't having that. And I was like, okay, this is back early on in the nineties and they weren't having it. It's everyone doing it now. Right. Especially all last year. Yeah. So basically it came to a point where I'm like, well, I, I have to let you guys go. I'm going to go on to my next thing. And I continued designing, signing in the corporate world, designing with the golden handcuffs, designing with blinders on, you know, like, what do you want to design for the customer? It was never that. It was, what do you want to design for, like, design yeah. by committee? And I just knew. CJ Sparkle was back there. It's happening. And um, I did. I, I finally did. It was actually after 9-11. Oh, wow. It just really um, it put my whole world in a different space. And I decided to open up CJ Sparkle. It's, uh, it was an amazing experience. I did it for five years. That's a long time. And I, really a long time. It's about like yeah. 20 <laughs> and I did a lot of pop-ups prior to that, so I built up a yeah. huge clientele. I called my clientele the Starlet Community, and I still have the Starlet Community. Awesome. I've closed my boutique now since 2017, and they're still part of me, um, which is really exciting. But that's kind of a little bit of where I came from. Um, when I was introduced to the Scout and Seller business, I kind of was looking for something different. I wanted to work for myself again. I was not going to do the brick and mortar. I was like, okay, been there, done that, check. Yeah. And... Um, Sarah, who started the company, she's just the real deal. She wanted to make a difference. She wanted to make a difference in the world and in our health. And she's come up with um, an amazing product, the Clean Crafted Wine. And we are double tested for all of our wines. Every bottle is guaranteed. And I just felt like this is my place. I, I found my people, right? And I've been doing it three years. It's been phenomenal. And you've tasted some. Yes. Like, cheers. Yes, cheers. We know it's delicious. It's very, very yummy. Very good. I've, and I've had several... Bottles, or I bought several bottles. Mm-hmm. We've had some wine tastings, and how what, we met actually. That's how, that's how we met, <laughs> and um, I really, I'm a fan. I'm a huge fan of it. So, but I will have to say, as much as wine was fabulous, I was missing design. I was missing jewelry. I was missing sparkles. I was missing something. So I um, was introduced just a couple days ago, like not even two weeks, to a company that's Fair Trade, and Fair Trade is so meaningful to me. We're helping women in eight different countries. Um, find a better uh, life for themselves. You know, they can get four to 12 times their salary wow. than any other industry. And some of them are getting out of sex trafficking. Some of them, you know, are HIV positive and pushed off into another community and told to drink like holy water and they'll get better. 
Yeah. No, they're not. You're so right. now in these Julie co-ops, they are they're getting something more, which is very exciting. Um, I'm very lucky because it's women owned. Sarah's women owned. Um, Ange and uh, Kara are the, the co-owners of Threads Worldwide. And the company just felt like, yes, they're my people. They're my people, but they want me to help design. They want, we want, we're going to travel and go meet with the artisans. It's just, it That's gave me really goosebumps. Neat. They're actually visiting, so I get to meet her tonight. Very and I just started with a company. And I, it just, I'm like, dude, I have chills because I'm back in fashion again. I'm doing something meaningful for the globe. My yeah. daughter wanted to join me. Yeah. That is incredible. Um, and I just feel like it's, it's, it's what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah. And when you find your purpose. Yes. I totally understand, hence the podcast. <laughs> I found my purpose because yes, I have. love you guys so much. You've been super supportive, and I get to talk to amazing people like Sarah Jane and bring you their stories. So, you know, supporting women is really important to you. Oh my that, God, since yeah. I've met you, that like I've no, I, I'm really impressed by how much you do support women and you put yourself out there. And anyone that you meet, you're like, oh, let me help you. Because mm -hmm. I actually, you got me introduced to be to present to the Chamber of Commerce for mm -hmm. Evanston. Yeah. And by the way, we are here in Sarah Jane's home in Evanston, Illinois. And as you can see behind us, she's just her home is beautiful and just very welcoming and hospitable. Thank you. So can you tell us why it's important to you to support women? So I really feel, unfortunately, in this world that women, we have it harder, right? Um, we're paid less. We have to work twice as hard to get to a place. And then when we get to a place, oh, she's a bitch. Yeah. It's unfortunate, right? Or we get to a place, oh, something else happened. That's why she's there. That's not, that's not right. So I just, it's so, so meaningful for me to be, what do women want to do? Do they want to work from home? Do they have children? Do they not have children? Do they want to travel? What, I like to find a solution yeah. for their problems. Yeah. And so even with the wine business, but before CJ Sparkle, I love for the starlet in all of us. That was my tagline for CD and Sparkle. I wanted women to feel good about themselves. They'd put a piece of jewelry on and they would go to a ball game with their kids or they would go to an yeah. interview or a day at the office or at the beach, but they're feeling good about themselves because they got a little sparkle on. That just made me, again, I guess the goosebumps. Um, <laughs> and helping women, like that's what we all have to do, right? Yeah. We all have to like grab hands. I, I'm raised by right, hippies. I moved 14 times before <laughs> high school, and I got a little kumbaya to me, a little woo, I got it. And I, the women, we just have to, we have to get together. We have to help each other. And I always shop local. I always, if I, I find a woman, anytime, vacation, just out and about, I, I make sure I take pictures. I find their Instagram, their social channels. I tag them. I say thank you. And it's kind of spilled over into my day job as well, but it's just so, so important to me. I, women, we got to take care of each other. I totally agree. I mean, and, and yes, I think that we do have it a little bit harder, and I'm not going to get into that whole conversation. It's a big but, conversation. you know, uh, yeah, I mean, and I've noticed when I was going through doing some interviews in the last year for a corporate job, <laughs> I was interviewed by a younger man, and I felt like they're definitely discriminated against. Mm -hmm. And I know that if I was a man, I, it would have been a, because I'm an aggressive woman. Yeah, and you had I, an amazing experience, so they were, like, sad that they did not take you? Because that's the thing. <laughs> they were probably intimidated by you. I think that he was, and that's a, that's yeah. a whole other conversation. But, yeah. Um, yeah, so wait, tell us about this necklace here really quick. Okay. This is a gorgeous necklace. So, again, I was on vacation in Palm Springs, and I went into this cutest little boutique, and I, I can't remember the name of it, but it's basically about, oh, it's called True Self Care. Two sisters own it, and they also have a location in Coachella. And they work with artisans. So this is handmade in Mexico, and all these beads are made handmade with straw, and then of course the sparkle. So I was like, okay, I have to have that. Yeah, and it kind of goes in line with your new venture with. Uh, yeah, right. With, so with this is train. also Threads Worldwide. This is made in Ethiopia. Um, it's bullet shell casings, and the thing about that bullet shell casing is really neat. I know, right? That's but it's cool. jewelry. They're making they're it's, making it it's recyclable. possible. Yeah. Hey, you guys, we're going to take a quick commercial break to thank our sponsors. So we'll be right back after this message. Hey, guys, Deanna here with Label Free Podcast. Are you a six-pack kind of guy or a dad bod kind of guy? Either way, our friends at Manscaped have the fellas' hairy bodies covered. They just launched their fourth generation performance package, which includes the Lawnmower 4.0. That's right. You heard that right. 4.0. Trim from the leaders in male grooming. So the man in your life can join the 2 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped by going to manscaped.com for 20% off plus free shipping with the code LABELFREE20. That's right, 20% off with 
free shipping with the code labelfree20. So head on over to their website, manscaped.com and pick up something for yourself, the man in your life, whomever that might want to benefit from keeping everything nice and tight for the summer. Hey guys, welcome back. This is your host, Deanna Kempel of Label Free Podcast. Live your best life. You must live label free. As you can see, I'm still here with Sarah Jane. She is telling us about her endeavors at C. Jane Sparkle, which I absolutely love because you know I love my bling. I, I'm a blingy type of girl, so digging this necklace. She just told us about her where she found that and supporting local um, artisan artisans, if I can say that correctly. Now we're going to talk a little bit more about you know one of her endeavors that she that she's um, a part of, and it's Scout and Cellar Wine. And see, as you can see here, we are definitely enjoying her what she does and um i met her at a wine tasting which i said earlier so um and this is fabulous sarah jane i absolutely love this very light can you tell us a little bit about what we're drinking here absolutely so um these are some of our new products they are our ready to drink products so basically this is a nicer healthier version for day drinking right like you our truly the our beach truly's or white claws yeah exactly something healthier you're on the beach you're at a picnic and this one is actually Epic Pursuit Tropicals and Colada. It's 5.8% alcohol, so it is a little bit of alcohol, but it's super light. Very light in sugar, because I'm all about that. And um, the Epic Pursuit, we actually give 1% back to kind of making sure those bees are okay. The bees do some important, important. things in this world. So yeah. Epic Pursuit is all about that. This We also have a um, tonic one, so it's kind of like your vodka replacement, and we have a gin one. And they're just with botanicals, they're lovely, as you can see. Very good. The I'm wine is fabulous <laughs> as well, and that's really what was for me. I was getting headaches and stomach aches with drinking wine. I'm 51, things start to change. I couldn't do just regular wines, even the expensive wines. I would get, I'd get reactions. I don't with ours. So three years in, I'm still marketing clean crafted wines. All of our labels are private labels. We're supporting independent growers from eight different countries. And it's women owned, but it's also my own business. So this has become something very important to me. I have a sparkle wine family. I've got 20 people on my team. Um, I, uh, I'm very, very lucky that I've been marketing over $67,000 worth of wine. Um, it is in the cracks of my life. It's not a full-time job. It's what you call that side gig. But this side gig, it's so meaningful because if someone's looking for a part-time thing, if someone's looking for a little extra money for their car payments, it's here. It's possible. Um, it's not guaranteed, but it's possible. And I help them get there. So it's really rewarding. And, and you get to drink lots of wine. <laughs> and my job is to try all the wines. So if someone asks me, I know what this tastes like. You know, it's a, a, a lovely kind of light DNA. You know, I, I know our, our rosés. I know all the little notes. I'm not a sommelier. I could be fun to be certified. We should do that together. Oh, that'd be cool. Travel to Italy, travel yeah. to France. Um, but I'm really, really proud to be part of a women-owned company. We're over, um, I, when I started, it was 3,000 consultants. And at this point, I think we're over 18,000. It's incredible. That's huge. Yeah, that's awesome. across the country. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh! So, what is your yeah. favorite? And so, I I've tried a lot. I li I like a lot of. I pretty much, I've liked all that I've tried. Yeah. You know, well, I mean, that just says a lot that I like to drink. No kidding. <laughs> I was on a rooftop tasting last night, and um, it was funny. Sometimes you think it's going to be the more expensive one. Everyone's going to be like, "Oh my god, really? Yeah. I love this Pinot Noir. It's so fabulous." But it wasn't. It was our sixteen dollar um, bookbinder apprentice. It's a red. It's earthy bold. But it's like that weekend, yeah. you know, you want to make pasta, you're having pizza. It's perfect, perfect wine. So that's probably my favorite when it comes to a red. Rosé, I'm all about Dove Hunt Dog. That I love really good. the dogs, too. The dogs are so much fun. Our labels, all artists are creating these. And they're, you know, a lot of people say they buy a bottle because of a label. Yes. So well, we're having true. fun with some labels. Even though we're label-free um, here. But different what, kind of label. But we're, still, kind of we're label. still kind of like squirrel, squirrel. Love, love the way that looks. And I've tried this. This is amazing. So I highly recommend. And uh, Sarah Jane will share all her links in, here in a second when we're done talking about the wines. Absolutely. Where, how you can reach out to her and how you can get a bottle yourself. Absolutely. I will. Um, Fico is a Pinot Grigio. Normally Pinot Grigio to me is too much sugar. Yes. Most of them out there, you just immediate reactions. This is actually an orange wine, which is really kind of fun because at the end, it's white processed and they put a little bit of the skin of the red uh, grape. And so it's an orange wine. It's really fun. Um, but Pinot Grigio, that's not sweet, is my favorite. And it's from Italy. Love, love. And all these are organic. 
correct? So they're not all organic. We don't go into that exact, but most of them are organic, vegan, or biodynamic. Okay. So right. the most important part to think about is there's no additional sugar, there is no synthetic chemicals. The FDA says it's okay to have 300 plus, I, I don't even know, ingredients that are okay to be in our wines. That's why we're having problems. Yeah. FDA says it's okay, they're not out for us. No, um, not. <laughs> but basically, the smallest amount of sulfites, a lot of people think they're allergic to sulfites. We don't add any. Wine creates in the process okay. sulfites, and that's important, but we don't um, add sulfites. And so it's the smallest amount of sulfites. Awesome. But that's um, really what it's all about. We also guarantee every bottle, and we double test to make sure none of that jumps in there. So all the good stuff, none of that stuff. I love it, and yeah. I, I'm a fan. I've bought several bottles myself. I really enjoy the wine, and um, yeah, I don't feel yucky after no. afterwards. No. Let's let transition over to yeah. your, your new thing that you're doing, which is really important in today's world and everything that we're experiencing, and how we can just create yeah. a better but a better world all around us. Yeah. So now you've gotten back into the design world, which you love. Goosebumps, goosebumps. I'm back in the design world. Um, threads worldwide. Um, I, we're so, so lucky to be able to be part of something that's growing. There's only 60 people in the country that have started with this company. They were ready and poised to grow right before the pandemic, and then everything was shut down. Yeah. It's really hard to show jewelry online and be like, buy this beautiful jewelry, support this cause. <laughs> it's much better to feel it and go, oh my God, this is upcycled bone. That's amazing. It's incredible. Now, and I'm also supporting India and these amazing stories. As a young woman, I had become a good example for other girls in my community who are still far away from empowerment. Sophia. I mean, I just got chills. Did you get yeah. chills? Yeah. yeah. This, this kind beautiful. of company is helping these co-ops, these women, um, have better water, have solar uh, roofs, have um, better health care, support their families. And again, I know I told you guys four, four to 12 times what they could make in any other job in their um, country. I mean, wouldn't you want to be a part of that? And we also are part of the Field Trade um, Federation. That's really important that we are a member. That took time for those ladies to get that. Well, that's very exciting, and I think yeah. you're just doing such a good job helping women all across the world, Sarah Jane. That's just In our community, across the world. And you can join my Sparkle Tribe, because we are a growing company, and come do it with me. It's very exciting. With that being said, where can people find you if they want to reach out to you, support you, be a part of your Absolutely. team? So, cjanesparkle at me.com is my email, and I would love to hear from you and find out what you need when it comes to threads worldwide dot com slash cj and sparkle or scott and seller dot com slash cj and sparkle you can kind of check out the companies and see if you want to join the um, adventure if you want to purchase the products and support the mission i mean conscious buying is so important when it comes to um nowadays and making a difference um what's really important to me and it's been so important to me from the beginning but i didn't realize it i'm finally stepping into my potential i like being a leader yeah. i'm I like being around positive people, and we all can help each other. I love being around you. I love your energy. And you know, when you're around people that aren't, you're like, can I help you? And they always want to be yeah. around you. I'm like, okay, let's, let's get all positive. Let's yes. have that, that good mojo happening. And so um, I'm creating my sparkle empire. I'm really trying to help as many people sparkle <laughs> as I can, whether it's sparkle with their um, profit, sparkle with their purpose, sparkle with the people that they want to be around, um, it's really, it's important to me and it's kind of what's my legacy. I want to leave something. My daughter wants to be part of it. It's, yeah. it's my mom wants to be part of it. That's neat. I it's really it. so cool. And I feel like I'm, I'm doing something like to better our planet. It really feels good. I, I think that you are. Um, and you are on all the major social media platforms Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, CJ Sparkle has a Facebook page. Um, I'm on some private groups once you become a customer and CJ Sparkle has an Instagram page. I'm also on SJS Evanston Twitter. If you want to like tweet with me, we're going to do a little toast. Yes. Well, before we do, okay. I will put all those links in the show notes. So don't hesitate to reach out to Sarah Jane. She is lovely, as you can see, and she welcomes you with open arms. And before we start wrapping things up, any last words of wisdom or advice you'd like to leave with the audience? I really, I, it seems like it's that cliche thing, but follow your dreams. Follow what makes you happy. Um, support each other, 
always, always think about the positive things. If there's negative things, we all have negative things. Just keep them, keep them in your head and only spew out the positive because we're here to help each other. And I'm here to help you. Reach out to me. I, I would love to find out what you need. And it's funny, like everybody in my family, my mom, my grandmother, everyone's a teacher. I'm like, I don't want to be a teacher, <laughs> but I want to be a leader. Yeah. And I'm going to teach you how to find your sparkle. There you go. I love that. With that being said, you guys, this is your host, Deanna Kempel of Label Free Podcast. To live your best life. You must live label free. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, follow, all those good things. And I'll be back soon with more dynamic guests. Cheers. Cheers.